Okay. Well, then maybe you will need this. You know what this what is? It, what? You're Supergirl. Felicitaciones. Muy bien. So the Flash movie is publicly filming outside in London. They've previously shot in the middle of the UK and up in Scotland for the backdrop of Gotham. And now they're shooting at St. Paul's Cathedral located somewhere in London. So there's going to be a lot of misleading reports about what is going on in this movie, how it's going to affect the DCU continuity, how the Snyderverse is actually dead when it's not at all. But it might seem like that temporarily. So we're going to break down everything properly. Properly. Got a bit of inside information, rumors if you like to cover as well. So, yo, what is good, YouTube? What's you here? If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos. Check us out on Instagram at Wash if you want to see the face behind the voice. Also, check us out on Twitter, Wash G A K A The Mavericks. So, initially, the Flash movie was supposed to be a Flash movie where Ezra Miller, the Flash, was always gonna get the name of the Flash and get a new suit. That was Zack Snyder's idea originally. That was always going to be taking place in this movie and it still is going to be taking place in this movie he would get multiple suits and he's going to have multiple different looks as we see him with long hair we see him with short hair because there's different time periods within this movie it's essentially a multiverse based movie and essentially i guess you're not gonna like this you could say the flash movie is going to reset the dceu and kind of pull it into a new continuity but not really because if you understand the multiverse concept, everything will kind of change, but not really. So everyone keeps questioning, where is Batfleck? Where is Ben Affleck? Ben Affleck's in this movie, but it's how he's in the movie that is so unique and so clever because everyone's been seeing the Michael Keaton Batman mansion that was filmed pretty close to where I live. You've now seen Michael Keaton on set alongside Ezra Miller Flash and Sasha Cully. Well, okay, they weren't on set together but they're all filming it in London so what they're doing there is they're filming part of the ending what do we mean by this part of the third act I'm not saying the Henry Allen court scene where he gets exonerated and he kind of gets exempt for not actually killing Nora Allen because that will come out eventually at some point and Michael Keaton is there we see Barry Allen the flash with his flash ring but that predominantly does not mean that his suit is going to jump out of the ring because that is hella expensive we've all seen how they butchered that on the CW show but in theory there is no point in having the flash ring unless a new flash suit pops out of the ring but is it practical depends how many times he has to kind of come into the flash i guess in a sense wearing the suit we don't know so essentially this movie will take inspiration from the flashpoint dc rebirth and it's gonna pay like paying on a lot of kingdom come stuff a hell of a lot of kingdom come stuff to be honest now what is interesting is there's lots of perceptions of who michael keaton's gonna be is he the nick fury of the DCEU not really but he will from what we understand appear and reoccur in that kind of position and then we've got the likes of Grace Randolph chiming in then we've got the other kind of super duper scoopers who I won't actually even say the name because because they don't really have credibility, but there's a lot of people chiming in. So essentially, The Flash will get lost in the multiverse and find himself in this new world where he has never had powers, but he will have kind of some kind of memories and he will remember everything. Keaton in this universe is full-on Kingdom Come Batman, and there will be some kind of multiversal third world war crisis. So yeah, I know I hate to say it, guys, because you guys know I'm a Flash. Originally, this channel was The Flash. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be no reverse flash, although there could be teasers because obviously Henry Allen was set up essentially by Ebar Thorne. Ebar Thorne killed Nora Allen and it wasn't actually Henry Allen, as we already know. As for Supergirl, it, it sounds to me from what I'm hearing that she's definitely playing Superman's daughter from another world. Yo, but washed you. Why has she got a very similar suit to Henry Cavill? Well, obviously, because it's a DCEU movie and there has to be homage 
damage and there will be there will be parts of canon that does line up with Snyderverse continuity but it won't ever be addressed it would just be I guess ambiguous in the way where you either think it is or you think it isn't because one thing you got to understand is Andy Muschietti is behind this but there is still the old Warner Bros the new Warner Bros some who like Snyder some who don't so he's got to appease both of them so obviously we know the VFX team working on the Flash movie is the same VFX team that works with Snyder so obviously some things will be the same and will appear the same now I see a lot of people online bashing Sasha's suit about wiring and how her abs she's literally in a wire suit because she's coming like 40 foot down on okay I, I'm pretty sure it's a stunt double but the stunt double is coming down 40 foot on a crane to the floor and every modern suit I mean this you won't even see this in post production once the movie comes out because all this will be deleted and polished up but yeah every suit does have wiring they're not really flying I mean is it that ambiguous to tell you guys they're not actually flying here they're not characters it's fictional it's fake they're not real it's CGI it's special effects added differently so the wiring on the suit you will not see this suit will look polished now from what we presume she is playing Laura Kent but I am I'm also in the things that it could be an interpretation of the the daughter of Wonder Woman and Superman, but I think most likely it will be the daughter of Superman. We don't know which version, but from the information I've got, it's Superman from Keaton's Earth, which wouldn't make it Henry Cavill's Earth at all. Henry Cavill isn't dead. Ben Affleck isn't dead. Neither of them are going to die. I don't really get where this perception is coming from. Now, what is interesting is there's also one wiring where we see Michael Keaton just outside the courtroom which is interesting obviously these are from behind the scenes now it is interesting because this movie will address BVS because the way they're going to use Ben Affleck is Ezra Miller is going to explain to Michael Keaton how he got to the earth eventually and it will be via flashbacks from Ben Affleck telling him about how his mother died and telling him that he literally could change time if he wanted to and all that kind of thing so the main reason I think we haven't seen Ben Affleck yet is because because a lot of his stuff will be flashbacks. Now, they don't shoot movies in chronological orders like people think. I, I don't really get why people think they have to shoot a movie in chronological order. So yes, Ezra Miller the Flash does have the flash ring, but this is literally the third act. I'm not saying it's going to be the final scene. From what we understand, you see Iris West is also on set. It's going to pick up where quite a lot's already happened. I imagine from the intel we've been given, it picks up pretty early on when he's already in this new universe and it will show flashbacks of how he even got there and all that kind of stuff this is obviously all rough because we've seen multiple there are multiple versions of this movie but it looks like they're going with one we also see Bruce Wayne's car in this so is Michael Keaton going to be the main Batman in DCU no not even once but from what they're showing they're given the perception that he is going to be Barry Allen the Flash's main mentor so the information that we've been given is Ben Affleck's being used in a flash back point of view although these scenes could be new I don't know if they're going to be new scenes I presume they are because he's going to talk about the BVS scene about how they've met before way before this and other stuff we we do know there's different timelines in this movie because we've seen Ezra with long hair and then we see him with short hair so it will be have continuity for the Snyderverse and for the new universe they're building but realistically Andy Muschietti said everything that's previously existed still exists and will still exist so everything is supposed to merge into one although it's going to be ambiguous in a way where it won't directly say that. Now, there's a freaking... I don't even know how to word this. So I've seen a video where someone was saying they were going to recast Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman, for this movie. And literally the same day, you have Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman, on the side of a Central City bus. And I'm thinking, how is this even possible? How, how can some people think they're recasting Gal Gadot for this movie? I mean, there might be a different Wonder Woman in this movie. There are some surprises that I've been told not to revealed there are some surprises in this movie some characters that haven't been revealed but they've only realistically started shooting so London was turned into Central City which I find pretty weird to be fair of all the locations they could because obviously for the Batman movie Robert Pattinson London was turned into Gotham but they're using Scotland for Gotham in this movie so in a nutshell that's kind of where they're going with this movie as I said the Snyderverse stuff it's still real it's still happening but it will be an HBO Max thing it won't be theatrical from the information we understand at 
the moment, although everything is subject to change. We do know information that Zach said he would work with him again, but not until Toby Emmerich's gone. So as I've said multiple, multiple times, guys, it's not the simple case of Discovery just coming in and the merger being complete. Zack Snyder will not work with Toby and Walter and all these kind of people. So there's still a lot of factors for Justice League 2, for the Ben Affleck movie, TV show, etc. But all that stuff is still happening. It's just going to take a long time. So there isn't really a villain for this movie, so to speak. It's kind of like a multiversal villain where the situation would cause a work, like an almost World War 3 kind of event, so to speak, like a meta crisis event. It does sound pretty cool to me. Now, some people said I was very negative about the Flash movie. I've never been negative about it. I've just been really vocal about it. This movie's been in the works for like 10 years and if they've only just started shooting. So, so that's pretty much where this movie is going. If you really want to understand where the movie could go, I suggest that you have a look over some Kingdom Come, DC Rebirth, and or also the Flashpoint Paradox, but they're not going to be pulling too hard on that timeline, but they are because obviously he will temporarily be in a world where his mother and father are together and Henry Allen isn't in jail, retrospectively speaking, at some point in the movie. There's going to be multiple different, not timelines, periods, I guess you could say, because obviously the third act, that's where Henry Allen gets exonerated. Obviously, as we know, in the Snyderverse and Justice League, although they didn't address it, Henry Allen was in jail for the death of Nora Allen. So that will be addressed, but there will be parts of the Flashpoint paradox in this movie. But don't be expecting just a straight Flashpoint movie because that ain't going to happen. I mean, I think it'd be better if it was a straight Flashpoint movie, but they're going to mix and match a lot of different iconic DC stories into one. And, and to be fair, guys, from what we understand, it does sound pretty cool. Like I always say, take the information I've been told with a pinch of salt, but I trust the information. I'm not really leaking anything that's not already out there. And whilst I was recording this, I don't think I put this in the title, but we got a first look of the Shazam family. Shazam, Fury of the Gods. Uh, Pony Smasher released this, what, 20 minutes, I guess, since I started recording this video. So yeah, a new image of Shazam's family in Shazam, Fury of the Gods. So like always, guys, check us out on Instagram at Warstu if you want to see the face behind the voice. And I will catch you in another video very soon, guys. Catch you later. Thank <laughs> you.